my vlog and today is a good day for another vlog and guess what? We are here today at our school for a day with my life! Now, let us watch this video. Oi! Did you know about this fats? Hula hoop was invented on March 5, 1963. The hula hoop, a swift swiveling toy that became a huge fad across America when it was first marketed by Wang Po in 1958.
part of their daily lives. TikTok became a social media boom during the pandemic. In, for example, in quarantine, TikTok has become their national pastime in 2020. TikTok became the most downloaded entertainment app in the Philippines. And that is why TikTok is such a global trend. TikTok maintains a separate app for the Chinese market known as Duy, which has over 300 million active monthly users. The used app dog is a combination of the musically and Duy dog. The trend center of this application is called Influencer. They are the ones who start some trending dance, dog smash, and some entertaining videos. And also, this application helps many people to relieve their stress. Now, let us find out when the app of those trends started in the Philippines. The brand became popular during mid to late 2019 and early 2020. Hydro Plus is a particularly well known among millennials and Zoomers, as well as college students and the Visco Girl subculture. Social influencers and celebrities, especially on TikTok, increased the brand's popularity. Another definition, trends have much longer lifespan than fads. The popularity of a fad is growing rapidly in frequency and intensity, while a trend is growing more slowly. To end our film, I will leave you with the quote, Great things are not accomplished by those who yield to trends and fads and popular opinion.